best not to draw attention here. Okay, lovely. No technical difficulties, but I've got my Michaels off. <laughs> okay, but we're, yeah, we're back with the Faded Encounter now DLC. You pay. Run around trying to help Cassandra, or in this case, she's technically trying to help us. No, no, none of that. Please, thank you. Yeah. Not the last one. Although he might be. Oh, way too soon. Come here. Boss is next. Feel stronger already. Okay. Let's grab this. This must be one of the shards I need to place on the pedestal. Hold on a second. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Are these the is it is it on this side? It should be on this side, right? Quest items. Trade goods. Are these the same shards from, uh, from Greece? From the main game of Odyssey? Oh, one second. Okay, so there's one. All the way over here. Which we can call for the ship for. Let's grab that over here. Seems to be quite fucking abundant, and I love it. We're off. Sail out. You Zalskjolds got us. When I was a girl, I tied threads to my mother's cats and screamed. The cock got right through Valhalla. Why is it when we grow old, we stop telling ourselves the most fantastic stories? Mm. Why is it we stop believing we can command the gods? We abandon all the true dramas of our own creations. Our own friendly savior, or the dark savior, the political savior. When we are children, we are the nobles of our little world. The rulers of moments, the glory of glee. And if I have learned anything from all of my battles, all of my wars, my days, my regrets, my victories, I always take the time to have fun. I do not apologize for it. So save your stupidest war cry for me, Birna, lover of strangeness. I mean, she's right, though. It's like as we grow older, we lose some of that childlike wonder, and it never comes back. And we need to encourage it. Because that's when you have the most fun. When you're just not worried about shit. And if you are, it's it's really not that important. Reef sail! Should be good enough. 
Okay, just swan dive in. A4. Populated. Can't really do this load in sight while I'm uh, in Sunin. Full arrows before. What the hell? <laughs> Who saw me? Isle of Sky is technically in Scotland. So I guess they could have used the Pictish I guess they wanted specific, uh, or just like these sorts of varieties, so they didn't make a variation for it. Which I admit probably would have been a lot of work for what might only be. Missions? I don't know. But it seems like the only story really going on is with the Sansa here. look like the shards from Greece. I mean, I guess it makes sense because Cassandra didn't like take them and get rid of them. She just sort of smashed the whole thing. Okay, so we're going down to the south now. See that? These two can be easily gotten to let's go here and actually no here because that nope can't do that in a restricted area okay now let's do it Okay, off we go. Do this. Strike of the June. Run up the stairs. Oh, 
we're slowly getting closer. And for some reason, the uh, sea songs aren't working. Let's hear a story. Sail down! A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned, or message to be gleaned. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of hey, Arvald's Ness. What's going on? I love- Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I guess Eivor just stopped trying and is not going for swan dives whenever. seems abandoned except for a wandering deer. Alright, let's get this key. Oh, there's blood! Somebody tossed a body down here. this house before we try to break into that one. Nothing to get in through. really get a line on it. Wait, what, my arrows are full? Okay, that's weird. They, they were just at nine a second ago and I only picked up like three. me strength. I feel like I'm about to be ambushed. No, just snakes. <clears throat> Yo. Oh, lovely. And they've left the trail. Actually, let me call my horse. There we go. This will be much faster on horseback. Oh, that must be the letter. Do I need to go back? Because I can see the footprints on the ground. Yeah, 
send me back to that. I say Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> oh, did I kill one? I did. So he must have been attacked by bears and scrambled up the tree. Scene. Anyway. Okay, so here we're we're here. And just take the ship back across. Can I, can I not? There we go. That that'll have to do. And then we can ride. Although we might be able to swim the horse. But let's see if we can swim the horse that far. I think we can, we just might not be able to climb up anywhere. Because I think that shore line, like right over there, is out of bounds. Or it might not be, I'm not sure. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> after this, we'll have one yeah. last one to find. We can stop it. No, we can't call the ship here. But we can collect more opal and keep it moving. Oh no. Um. Hello. Oh yes. Could you please be a deer and wade into the fairy pool so I can sacrifice you to the fairies? You're asking if you can kill me? Since the nightmare started, the fairies have whispered in my ear, promising power if I find sacrifices for them. 
They've even led me to one of their treasures from my hard work. The prettiest shard. So please, into the pool now. Fairies are tricky creatures. Are you sure that shard isn't muddling your mind? I haven't quite felt like myself, Linky. You could be onto something. <gasps> Take this shard far away from me, please. There you go, and that's how you do that. I'll collect the key as well. Okay, now these hostile wolves are friendly. Mm. Is this key for that? In here? Okay, so where are we headed now? All the way over here. bit closer to the edge <clears throat> and call for the long shot. like it might be right at that cliff's edge. Drop the sail! This area is off limits. I find it weird that I can't read any of these locations. I guess it wouldn't make any sense since I'm technically here to help, but still, I'd like to read. Okay, well, I know. Is it down there? I still want to grab that piece of armor though. Because that's what I want. I was hoping we'd get some new armor um, in conflict, really. Oh, okay, so kill everyone it is. I would think being underwater would pretty much break the conflict. Cause it's not like they can follow me down there. Let's just get it over with and murder everyone in the camp. It'll be doing us a favor anyway, they are bandits. Oh 
Oh shit. Sorry, what? Oh, it's still a spear, which is kind of weird because it was broken before. But now it's a full size spear. Oh my god, this thing is powerful! Hold on. Are there any more of them? Oh, there's one. No, no! Damn it. Alright, whatever. Just an Easter egg. Oh, it's come on. Shards. Time to the 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 night. What dreams may come. Alright, off we go. Let's switch back to the sword. Because I don't think we're get, gonna get any dialogue out of it. Out of having the spear equipped. Where is my sword? This is Bassam's sword that I got from that community challenge thing. Skill points very quickly. Uh, is that it? That can't be it, right? Think so? Am I just stuck with one skill point, one extra one? Okay, here we go. Now, 
let's place the shards. I mean, you've seen lots of places like this, Eivor. So is Cassandra. Who no, Maybe, well, yeah, technically. Alright. Okay, off we go. Well, I guess somebody knew, because there's a skeleton right there. Or, thinking, it, yeah. far deeper than we thought. Here, how'd they get in here? Are more coming. Whoa, I had this under control. Under control? Looks like you were about to get skewered. I can defend myself. You didn't need to come. Admit it. You missed me. Let me okay. you. You shouldn't have come. I know my presence makes things complicated. These people are attacking me because of you. There we I go. Know. Can we talk about this once they're dead? I should have been honest about my presence activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here makes reaching the artifact harder. Harder? No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. But trust me. You will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. <laughs> I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door. Very well. We've done this before, both in Asgard and Jotunheim, I believe.
Yeah, I suppose we're gonna need so this to get I up. can move these, I see. Can't see anything here. to go. Quick and easy. Well, that's got to stay there. <laughs> got to do this one first. Beam splitter. Finally. Off we go. Are those? Is it? Those pots and weapons are so strange. Grief. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. Yeah, and you being near it. Shit. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, to see all these things from my... my... home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. I wonder what the hell she's been doing all this time. Like, she can't just be hunting these artifacts. Eivor definitely doesn't understand that. Still, it's an illusion, so... But I, I get it. so bad to work with after all terrible at following orders though 
Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildaraklan. See you there. All right, we've made friends. That's awesome. Let's go. What the hell is that noise? Is somebody like cutting their... That's, that's not a lawnmower. What is that? Ugh. Yeah, I don't see a place to put that one skill point at. Okay, maybe not, never mind. Wait, do I have two mastery points? How many skill points? Just the one? No, 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 don't do that. Where you at, Cassie? Up there. There you are. Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> All right, Mans was making fuck me eyes with a pig. 
Hey, boy. What do you say? We find out who the real Norse is with a little drink in Sure. Don't say you don't know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> Especially if you've only drank things like Marcos's wine. Dude, I hate that people, you know, just choose the weirdest time of the day to do whatever it is loud and obnoxious they're doing. This was it. Very sorry if you guys can hear that. Yeah, how'd you expect that to go, Cassandra? You can really hold your meat. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's Giles' play. Not if it's for Marcos's vineyard. That swill could do paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaka. <laughs> Malaka. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a Greek swear word. It's malaka. Malaka. Laka. Malaka. Malaka. <laughs> That's it. You got it. Now, let me teach the you. The bride and the groom are here. <laughs> are we crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come, let's join in their revelry. Alright, let's have some fun. In front of Jill to the ex lover. And give a toast to the bride and groom. Oh, oh wait a minute, this is the woman from the wolves' den. Oh, it's you. Thanks for bringing me to my senses at the fairy pools. I would have missed my daughter's wedding if you hadn't. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad I didn't kill you. <laughs> All right. What do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. Okay. <laughs> Get him? Yep. Oh, thank you. You saved my wedding. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now for the groom. Oh, 
Aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. <laughs> we hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though. I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. To see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> it took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple. For Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. It'll sadden me to see my new friend part. <laughs> Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. <laughs> if your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. You really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. Okay, one last drink. Did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend.
What a non-forgettable night. Okay, that's the arc completed. Let's uh let's go talk to eat it and see about going home to Ranvi and uh, Volka. Which this is her house, I believe. I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene or not, but depending, I think I think today we should actually be going home into the Yule Festival. It. Eat it. Eivor, are you looking to return to your settlement? Yep. I think I should go join the Yule Festival at home now. Yes. Let's depart. Okay. No, uh... No exit cutscene? This Yule starts? Well, let's go talk to Vulcan and see. Or maybe Edith? Maybe she's here? Still? I don't know. <clears throat> Nobody? Okay, so Edith's right here. What's up, girl? You're still here, Edith. Yes. The Isle of Sky is doing much better, thanks to you. So I've decided to spend more time with Valka, but I'm always happy to visit my people. Would you like to go now? Oh, okay. I uh, know. Not right now. Let's celebrate. All right then, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Thanks so very much for joining me. Uh, um, that's that for Assassin's Creed Valhalla right now. When we return with it, it will most likely be, unless they put something else out, uh, for the Dawn of Ragnarok DLC, which I'm not entirely sure when it comes out. I think it's like March, but we'll see. And until then, <sighs> excuse me. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.